So today we're going to be taking a look at Shadowplay and a lot of problems associated with the program. Now, Shadowplay, if you don't know, is a recording software by NVIDIA and it's uh, available on all their drivers for their 6 series graphics cards and up. Now, they're actually, the reason I'm telling you guys this uh, information, this background information, is because they're actually phasing out Shadowplay in favor of a new program. And as of today, as of May the 20th, 2016, that program is garbage. It is so bad. Uh, it's very, very difficult to record with, and it's got a ton of bugs, uh, a lot more than Shadowplay itself does. So anyways, what I'm getting at here is uh, I would recommend using Shadowplay. Now when their 10 series comes out, they may not have drivers for their 10 series that actually support Shadowplay. So a few years down the line, uh, you may not even be able to get it, but as of today, I would recommend getting a driver with Shadowplay on it. Now, all that being said, Shadowplay is still not a perfect program, and so I'm going to show you guys a few of the issues that you can have with it. Now, I'm actually recording with it right now because I don't have Fraps installed on this computer anymore, and that's because I love Shadowplay. It's amazing. I use it for everything. So, uh, we're actually doing a manual recording right now, so it won't let us... Uh, actually take any of the stuff it won't let us change the shadow time or anything but I can still show you where it's at and also uh, before I get ahead of myself I am gonna be leaving timestamps in the description so you guys can get to the problem that you're having uh, hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier so check down there for your problem and then you can go straight to the timestamp alright guys so the first problem we're gonna be taking a look at is a problem with shadow plays desktop capture feature now, I would actually recommend you keep desktop capture on all the time because it's extremely useful and there have been a number of times when uh, I've been in a game, let's say Rust is a good example. Uh, Rust, for a while, would only run in windowed full screen and you didn't know it was windowed full screen. It looked like it was true full screen, but uh, Shadowplay actually wasn't working. So if you click your desktop capture, uh, check here uh, it'll always be recording no matter what you've got going so you really don't have to worry about it all that much but there is a problem with it and that's that sometimes when you record with your desktop capture uh, you'll go to put your recordings in your video editor and they seem to be corrupted uh, your video editor won't recognize them uh, you can't play them etc etc and that's a really easy fix um, they're not actually corrupted I don't know if it's some weird way that Shadowplay encodes it I honestly don't know but if you just get this free program called Handbrake it's a great program I actually recommend you have this uh, on your computer anyway because it's so useful there's about a million and one uses for it so all you have to do is download Handbrake and you'll toss your mp4s into Handbrake re-encode them and that'll fix that problem so if you're having that problem, there you go, there's your fix for it, and that one's a pretty simple one to fix. Alright, so the next problem we're going to be taking a look at is when you get this icon, and your Shadowplay won't record anything. And you'll also notice that your PC is probably lagging a ton, and also the hard drive that you have your OS installed on is probably filled up. So... Uh, those things sound all very unrelated, but they're actually all related to the same thing. And I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but it really makes a lot of sense once you know what's going on. So, basically, whenever Shadowplay is making its shadow videos, it's making temporary files on your computer. And they will go wherever your OS is installed. So, if you have your OS installed on a 250GB SSD like I used to, and you never turn Shadowplay off, it's gonna fill up really quickly with those temporary files. And uh, when it does, it's going to put a little red line through the Shadowplay icon indicating that it can't actually save those files. And uh, you'll also notice that your hard drive is probably full and it's gonna cause a ton of problems with your computer. So all you wanna do uh, whenever you get that problem, it's really pretty simple, is just Turn Shadowplay off, wait about three seconds, and turn it back on. 
and it will fix this problem. Now if you double click it, it usually doesn't work, but uh, you just have to leave it off for a few seconds, turn it back on, and that red icon will go away. So there's your fix to that problem. Really pretty simple, but now you know why it's happening too. And that might actually clear up some confusion in the future because I know I was really confused about why my why my hard drive was filling up so quickly. But uh, now that I know, it makes sense. So uh, I would recommend actually leaving Shadowplay off when you're not at your computer or playing games. But it is up to you. But now you know how to fix it. Alright, so the next problem we're going to be talking about is a problem where you get this icon and it looks like a little hard drive and uh, your shadow play won't record once again but turning it off and turning it back on probably didn't work and that's because uh, it's not actually temporary files that are filling up your hard drive it's actual uh, videos that have filled up your hard drive or games if you're installing games on that hard drive etc etc the reason it won't record is because you have a full hard drive and Shadowplay actually can't save any more files. So how you fix that is actually pretty simple. Uh, all you want to do is either put a new directory for your Shadowplay recording so you can go down and your save location is here. You can actually change your temp files location if you need to for the other one but your save location is here and you can change it to whatever you want to if you have another hard drive available if that's not an option then you gotta delete some crap to make space and once you do that uh, then turn shadow play off and back on and it should work for you then alright guys so the next issue I'm gonna be showing you guys is whenever you actually can't get shadow play to turn on at all and apparently this is a really common problem Obviously, this isn't a problem for me right now because I'm recording with Shadowplay, but I'm going to show you how you fix it. Alright, so what you want to do is hit uh, your Windows button and R, and that's going to bring up a little window. Now, mine popped up on my other screen, but it should bring up this run window. And you want to type in services.msc and click OK. And then you want to go down until you see NVIDIA Streamer Service right there and uh, this is streamer network service so you just want streamer service and what you're going to want to do is right click it and then you're going to hit restart now I'm actually not going to do this right now because I'm recording with shadow play but uh, once you do that it should start working for you again and uh, yeah that's another one of those that's a pretty easy fix once you know how alright so the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is audio leveling problems in Shadowplay and you'll notice I've actually brought my taskbar over so I can show you guys how to fix a lot of those so the first thing you have to consider whenever you're talking about audio problems is how you're wanting to record with Shadowplay if you're doing a manual recording like I am I would recommend using audacity to record the audio don't actually use uh, the Shadowplay uh, audio it's really not that great uh, and Audacity is a lot better. You can actually edit out background noise with that, etc., etc. I would recommend doing that. You'll just have to sync it up. So you'll start your audio recording, then you'll start your video recording, then you'll click something and say, I don't know, say games. And then you'll click your preferences and say preferences. And then you'll line up your audio with your video. So that's what I would recommend doing if you're doing a manual recording for, let's say, a Let's Play or something. But if you're actually doing a shadow recording, uh, that's not going to work so easily. So what you're going to want to do for your shadow recordings is, first of all, make sure that NVIDIA Capture Server is all the way up all the time. And basically, this is the audio level of the entire recording. So uh, any audio that you have whatsoever other than your microphone uh, that's going to control the level of it and then you can go through and adjust things as needed see I have discord down here because discord was kind of loud but steam chat is way up here so you can adjust those as needed you can adjust your games but I would recommend leaving this all the way up all the time and then you can adjust your microphone 
uh, as you need to. So you can actually use uh, Windows for that or you can if you have a microphone with a dial on it like I do. My Blue Yeti has a small dial on the back for gain. You can change it that way. But uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have all this figured out before you try and play a game with shadow play or you'll get a lot of really really screwed up recordings and if you don't want to do that for whatever reason there is actually another thing you can do and uh, I actually don't have DX Tori installed on this computer right now but if you get DX Tori it isn't necessarily for beginners so if you're pretty new to this whole computer stuff, uh, I actually probably would not recommend DX Tori, but if you know what you're doing, you can probably handle it. And basically, what you can do with DX Tori is you can split the audio into different channels so that when you put it into your editor, uh, you can actually level them appropriately there. And you can actually cut stuff out. So let's say my dog's barking, I can actually cut that out without it affecting the game sound or my friend's voices. Or whatnot so that's really useful that's actually the best solution to audio leveling problems in shadow play but not everyone's gonna want to do that because of price and because it's can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing and also some video editors don't support more than two audio tracks if you have a really really cheap video editor but uh, but anyways that is another solution to your problem so anyways guys, hopefully I've shown you how to fix most, if not all, the problems that you'll have with Shadow Play. Uh, it's a great program and I actually use it exclusively now. I don't use Fraps anymore, although I probably should. Uh, for manual recordings, Fraps gets a little bit better quality, but Shadow Play is a great, great software and I highly recommend you utilize it if you have an NVIDIA. Uh, graphics card and also I don't think I said this most people know this but you may not shadow play actually won't cause you any lag in games uh, when you're recording with it so that's pretty cool but anyways guys that's pretty much it if you have any other problems that you don't know how to solve uh, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out but uh, hopefully I helped most of you and thanks for watching